I'm Dr. David Batten, cardiologist with the Heart Center at Salina Regional Health Center. We performed over 100 transcatheter aortic valve replacement procedures since inception. Dr. Batten, thank you so much for coming on the show. We're going to be talking about TAVR. First of all, what is TAVR? Well, thank you for having me. Uh, TAVR is uh, an acronym for transcatheter aortic valve replacement. And uh, that is uh, an aortic valve that is mounted or hand sewn on a stent scaffolding uh, that we can place uh, percutaneously or through the skin, usually by way of uh, an artery in the groin or, or leg artery. Okay, so how is that different from the traditional valve replacement? It, it is considerably different as far as how we get the valve to its location. Uh, the traditional surgical aortic valve replacement usually requires a, an incision uh, in the midline or through the sternum or the breastplate and the heart is uh, stopped and you're placed on a heart lung machine and uh, the, you know, the procedure takes two and a half to three and a half hours depending on the, the complexity and what all is involved. The time in the hospital for a surgical replacement is considerably different. Um, you know, seven to 14 days in the hospital, half of that being in the intensive care unit, and then uh, uh, a recovery time um, of anywhere from 30 days to 90 days, depending on how patients recover. When we place the valve uh, through the leg or percutaneously, um, people can expect to stay in the hospital a day, maybe two. Uh, symptom relief is uh, usually immediate, uh, usually readily. Uh, no noticeable and the recovery is is vastly different. Who is a candidate for TAVR? So anyone with uh, symptomatic aortic stenosis is is a candidate and generally those individuals have what we call severe aortic stenosis which is uh, <clears throat> usually identified because they have exertional type symptoms of chest discomfort or sh predominantly shortness of breath and uh, ideally identified by the primary care physician and then referred on to um, the, the heart team or the, uh, the valve team um, at uh, Salina Regional um, where we go through some rigorous testing and then we see them as a multidisciplinary team um, in the clinic with uh, Angie Bogart, the valve clinic coordinator, and either Dr. Toon or Dr. Quintos who are cardiothoracic surgeons. All right, thank you so much for some great information, and thank you for watching. For more information, you may visit the Heart Center page of srhc.com, like Salina Regional Health Center on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram.